We can annotate a sound file by creating a text grid object. Text grid objects are useful for annotation, segmentation and labeling of phonetic data. Text grid objects work with tiers. There are two types of tiers in Pratt. Interval tiers, which cover a period of time within the sound, and point tiers, which refer to only one point within the sound file. Once the sound file is open, we create a text grid object by clicking on the annotate button and selecting the To Text Grid option. The pop-up window will ask for the tier names. For this example, we will use three tiers, and only one of them will be a point tier. We can also add or remove tiers as we work in the text grid later on. Pratt will create a new text grid sample object. In order to start annotating, we need to select both the sound file and the text grid sample and click the View and Edit button. Kit. To set a boundary, click at the beginning of the interval and click on the gray circle at the top of the tier. Do the same at the end of the interval. Start typing on the text box under the menu. You can also create a boundary by selecting a section of the audio. Click on boundary and add on the desired tier. In Pratt, you can use IPA symbols. Hit. Click on the Help button and then click on Phonetic Symbols. Follow the instructions to make sure you have installed the necessary fonts. Click on the type of symbols you need and type the characters following a backslash on the text box under the menu. It. For point tiers, just click on the desired point and insert the text as before. Once you have finished your annotations, you can save the text grid as a text file.